G'day ladies and gentlemen, this is Voyager the Second here. Today we are back with another episode of Fixing Public Transport in New South Wales. In today's episode we are going to be looking at the Northern Beaches Railway Line. This is a, this is a new railway line which is 53 kilometres long. It contains a lot of stations, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, um, 13 new stations plus an additional 3 for consideration. What this railway line is going to bring for us is that it's going to enhance the tourism of the northern beaches. It's a really good hotspot for those visiting Sydney. It's also good for to make faster trips for those travelling from the central coast to the city. This railway line is also going to join up with the North Main Line at Woi Woi, extend the Eastern Suburbs Line as well. So, that's another good thing. Um, There's going to be faster trips in different places. You can travel from Mona Vale to Gosford very quickly without having to go through the North Shore and the Hawkes River actually you just go under Broken Bay also you don't have to go from Manly to Bondi going by the Sydney Harbour Bridge those are other examples so that's how you get faster trips and yes also trips from the central coast of the city will be faster this way so yeah however the problems that this railway line will bring however is that the crime rate is gonna go up a little bit Yes, even people are, are going to say that crime may go up and that it's going to take away lots of properties. But it's not going to be as bad as the Warringah Expressway. The Warringah Expressway actually took 500 properties down, including some North Sydney landmarks. There is a video. If I, if I know that I've actually said that there should be a link on that video, I'll, I'll share it to you. I hope it's still there. If not, then yeah, you'll have to just deal with it. But yeah, without further ado, let's get this showcase started. So it starts at Bondi Junction Station. It will extend from the existing Eastern Suburbs line, which only goes up to Bondi Junction. And then it will just um, go to Bondi Beach. Yeah, there's that's our first stop. And it's going to serve the beach very well, although the beach is already overcrowded and it's probably one of the busiest beaches in the world. So that could be a bit of a problem going to Bondi Beach. However, it's also going to serve neighboring places, North Bondi and also Bondi itself. So yeah, and then it will continue up north to Dover Heights just for, um, just to increase the coverage a bit. It will also serve Rose Bay, and so yeah, just um, another stop there. Vaucluse, Will Morris, Matt Davy, you tried to correct my pronunciation, and Matt Davy especially, you tried to troll me with that. I know, and I try to cover me <laughs> my ears. So yeah, thanks a lot, you you two guys. You're you're pretty nice lads. So yeah, Vaucluse, so. Uh, serve a relatively good spot. We had to um, take properties down. It's going to serve this thing here. Although at least you didn't have to take down the cemetery. Very sacred spot. But anyhow, from Vaucluse, the trains will accelerate to 130 kilometers an hour or 80 miles an hour if you're American. And then it will slow down and approach Manly. It's going to be a big stop. Also be served by intercity trains from the central coast. You know, you got the beach here, you got a commercial area, the ferry wharf is a bit of a walk, but you can't change directly. It's a bit of a walk though. So yeah, but it's going to serve Manly pretty well. And then from there it will crawl through Fairlight. Another stop at Fairlight to increase the coverage. And then there's going to be a, um, a considered stop at Manly Vale. I'm not 100% sure about having a stop there, I'm not really 100% on that, but what I reckon is that maybe 
it would increase the coverage a bit, but this is only a very small area. But yeah, anyhow, it will extend north to North Manly. Uh, it's also considered, but what I was actually thinking was that make it a compulsory stop and move it around 500 meters further north so, th so that way it will serve the Warringah Moor pretty well. The Warringah Moor is right here by the way so if you move it a little bit north it would serve the Warringah Moor very well. So yeah, actually I should do that. This is not the final draft, I will actually extend it to Warringah Moor so that hopefully it will um... yeah, so, so that there's more patronage on Warringah Moor uh, more be more profitable and less pollution when you're going shopping. And then there's going to be a stop at Brookvale. Yes, it's a compulsory stop, and the reason for that is that you got a large industrial area. Also, North Manly should serve should serve the um, southwestern side of the industrial park pre pretty well. Brookvale have a uh, have a stop there, serve the industri serve the industrial park. Um, more convenient to get to employment and yeah that's going to be a good thing and then another stop at DY this is going to be a big stop will be served by the intercity trains it's going to cover a few suburbs like North Curl Curl, Cromer and Narrowena not just DY and then there's also a beach which is a bit of a walk though but yeah it will attract plenty of um, plenty of tourists to DY and then you will also go further up north to Collaroy and then Narrabeen. These two stations are going to serve this pretty dense um, peninsula in the northern beaches. Quite dense. There's actually mostly apartments in those places and those apartments are, gonna s are going to serve the, the train stations pretty well. Collaroy can also reach out to Collaroy Plateau and Wheeler Heights if, these, uh, if the residents from over there are willing to walk to the station and maybe exercise a bit. And from North Narrabeen, there's going to be a stop at Warrywood. Now, it looks like it's in the middle of nowhere, but really, Warrywood is next to a shopping village right here. And it should also serve those new real estate. Maybe a little bit of a more direct pedestrian link from these houses to the station would be, would be good. But yeah, it's not going to serve much except the Warrywood um, shopping village. So that's why we have a stop there. And then there's going to be another stop at Mona Vale. So yes, and this is where the suburban tr suburban trains will terminate. Um, so there's suburban trains and Sydney trains. Services will terminate at Mona Vale. It doesn't go any up. It doesn't go further north than Mona Vale. Further north will be served by New South Wales train link services. And this is also going to be served by intercity trains. And it's, it's got a pretty good um, serving area. This is the uh, area it will serve. A lot of houses around there. A bit of industry. Yes, a valuable plot of land needs to be taken down. Just to make way for it. But yeah, Mona Vale. A good stop for... The good terminus for suburban services. And new... And the next stop will be Newport, served by New South Wales Trainlink. Still plenty of houses around Newport. Bilgola Plateau, the Bilgola Beach, can be served can serve Newport Station pretty well. As well as another stop at Avalon Beach to, to serve Palm Beach, Well Beach, and this is gonna be the most northern stop for for the Northern Beaches railway line. Um, in Sydney, that is, but it's still served by New South Wales Training Services. Avalon Beach is still part of Sydney, but it's not going to be served by Sydney trains. But anyhow, from Avalon Beach, the train will start to accelerate at 130 kilometers an hour underneath the Broken Bay, and then there will be a stop at Umina Beach, and this station is going to be put into consideration. I'd reckon that a stop at a minor beach is good, but it's up to you if you want to stop at a minor beach. In my opinion, a minor beach should be good for um for the beach itself. Should serve a minor beach and you can commute 
to Umana Beach without having to drive the car. So yeah, that's that's something to put under consideration, but it may but you may not need it because um, there's already buses at Woi Woi. It's going to uh, rob the revenue, the profit off the buses. Yeah, but that's just un something for consideration. Now the line will continue under a tunnel and then it will re-emerge with next to the north main line, along the north main line, just south of Woi Woi. Uh, similar to how they constructed the Epping Chatswood line. Um, but yeah, and then there's going to be a stop at Woi Woi, served by two new platforms at Woi Woi Station. There's two, the two existing platforms will be used by the nor by existing North Main Line services going to the city via Strathfield, and two new platforms to be served by Northern Beaches trains going to the city via DY. And then from there it will just join up with the existing two tracks going all the way to Gosford and up to Newcastle. So that is your railway line for the Northern Beaches Railway, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like and favorite the video. I'm going to end it right here. I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.